And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello again, everyone, and thanks for joining us for this Wednesday's edition of Alaska Weather on this 22nd day of October 2025. Up first here, we've got uh, high wind warnings out again. Another front approaching the southeast coast will bring uh, increased winds and heavy precipitation back into the panhandle tonight with uh, winds in the red shaded areas there. Prince of Wales Island over toward Ketchikan and those areas anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour, but could be some gusts up to 60 miles per hour. And for satellites here, we've got the first low here that brought the uh, heavy wind and rain across the southeast coast uh, overnight last night, pulling northwestward here, pretty wound up. Uh, Middleton Island had the peak wind gust of 60 miles per hour, while Cape St. Elias this afternoon had a peak wind gust of 85 miles per hour and uh, rain along the North Gulf Coast here and the western and southern Kenai Peninsula, of course, Prince William Sound and conditions improving here over the southeast coast. As you can see, the front moving into Canada and breaking up. Conditions becoming more showery. Still looking at some moderate uh, precipitation this afternoon over the northern areas. And a lot of cloudiness, some snow here in the Tanah Valley with that front as it moved northward over the eastern interior, spreading up toward the eastern Alaska range. And uh, light snow going on at times for the Arctic coast there with uh, cold air coming southward here. Uh, bringing uh, snow showers in toward the Pribilof Islands, rain or snow showers in that condition down into the eastern Aleutians. Next system out here to the south uh, be developing and coming up, following about the same path as his previous one did. And of course, timing about the same, so the high wind warnings back into the southern panhandle again. Looks like the strongest winds will be between 6 p.m. and midnight. That's the time the warning is out, so after midnight, conditions will improve. And um, again, out to the west, just a lot of uh, cold air kind of coming down th from northwest here from uh, the Sea of Akuts there, bringing showers into the uh, Aleutians, and then cold air coming down out of uh, the Chukchi Sea across the uh, eastern Siberia there, bringing pretty low snow levels all the way down uh, to near sea level overnight last night for the Pribilof Islands. Mixed rain and snow got into the eastern Aleutians. That pattern is going to continue as we'll see the uh, really not a lot of movement here, but generally north to south flow actually will increase uh, here over the eastern Bering Sea and along the west coast into the Alaska Peninsula. Forecast for tonight, you can see those gusty northwest winds with uh, tighter gradient there for the peninsula. So that could be gusts up to 40 miles an hour in the windier areas there with uh, again, the cold air coming southward, snowfall levels back down towards sea level, be wet snow at sea level and that'll extend back up to St. Lawrence Island. Well, temperatures definitely will be below freezing there. And then drier conditions over the Seward Peninsula into the northwest interior. Northeast flow here carrying uh, moisture into the eastern Arctic coast all the way down into the Brooks Range here. Some of that getting into the uh, Yukon River area there and toward the uh, Koyukuk Valley and snow showers along the western Alaska range as this moisture wraps around that first low, starting to weaken now, but still down to 964 millibars coming westward here. The next low tracking up to the northeast here, pushing that strong front into the panhandle again for the heaviest winds and precipitation over the southern, uh, southern southeast coast. But even the northern areas will see gale force winds along the coast with rain heavy at times, stays wet for the north Gulf Coast, and then these two lows will merge and uh, have a single low pressure area south of Resurrection Bay here, west of Middleton Island. So it's going to keep a uh, chance of rain here across south central Alaska, mainly Cook Inlet to the western Alaska Range, southern Kenai Peninsula, down toward Kodiak Island. Maybe some drier air in the afternoon could uh, shut the precipitation off for the island itself. And uh, again, showers. Uh, as the front moves in, weekends just like the one today, conditions will improve over the southeast coast with diminishing winds and precipitation becoming more intermittent, more showery. And uh, again, still looking at uh, northwest winds here for Thursday, starting to diminish along the west coast with some snow showers extending all the way from the Alaska Peninsula, right up along the coastline over the Seward Peninsula into the Chukchi Sea. This trough could uh, kick the winds up out of the west to 30 miles an hour in gusts for the eastern Beaufort Sea coast with maybe some snow and blowing snow there. 
dry south of the Brooks Range with some clearing. Isolated snow showers here in the Alaska Range. Areas of light snow for the uh, Cuscoom Valley areas. And uh, again, uh, got a weak trough, keeping it unsettled and damp on the damp side here with a southeast flow coming off the Gulf. That's kind of a wet weather pattern that'll be persisting there at least through Friday here for the uh, southern coast or the north Gulf Coast and less showers and a lot less wind here, but still kind of a general area of wet conditions for the Panhandle out to the west, low pressure here over the uh, northwest Bering Sea and the coldest air, of course, up there to the north. So that's going to be all snow in this area. Mixed precipitation will extend down into the western Aleutians. Adak Atka in toward Unuak Island, precipitation of showers will be in the form of rain. And from there, <clears throat> first day of the weekend, that pattern doesn't change much out here over the west with a weak low here in the northwest Bering Sea or north-northwest Bering and a couple of troughs that aren't really all that significant, bringing shower activity mainly to the Aleutians here. Snow showers for the Pribloffs, rain or snow showers, scattered rain or snow showers for the eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula. Trough right through this area, kicking off uh, maybe some snow showers from the northern Susitna Valley on up toward the uh, park and a little bit more widespread area for the uh, Koba Koyukuk Valley areas out in toward Selawik into uh, the southern slopes of the Western Brooks Range. Still a widespread area of light snow due to the open water out there with the cold air moving over it along the Western Arctic coast and the Chukchi Sea down into the northern Seward Peninsula. And a lot lighter winds now here for the North Gulf Coast. Winds continuing to diminish here for the next couple of days with uh, shower activity also diminishing, but still a risk of some showers and light rain for the southern Kenai Peninsula and right along the immediate coastline of the Panhandle, or I'm sorry, the North Gulf Coast, the Southeast Coast. So looking kind of showery and unsettled, but winds will be on the light side. And for the lows tonight, again, teens in the Brooks Range out to the Western Arctic Coast. Otherwise, uh, teens and 20s, mostly in the mid-20s here, lower to mid-20s through the central interior. In the 30s, south central Alaska to Kodiak Island, 20s for Bristol Bay, and anywhere around either side of 30 here for the southwest coast with upper 30s for the Aleutians, 40s for the southeast coast. Highs for uh, Thursday afternoon, upper 40s northern Panhandle, lower 50s to the south and 40s here across South Central Alaska, mid 30s in the Copper River Basin, and 30 to 35 there for the uh, Tanana Valley, closer in the mid 30s over toward Eagle, teens and 20s to the Brooks Range, on out to the Arctic coast, and right around 40 here, or into the lower 40s for the Alaska Peninsula, Eastern Aleutians, mid 40s for Adak and Atka. And then the lows on Friday morning, mid 20s there for St. Lawrence Island, and the Seward Peninsula, right around 30 here for the southwest coast, upper 20s Bristol Bay again. In the 30s, south central Alaska, but 20s in the Copper River Basin, teens and 20s here in the interior, and 5 to 15 there for the uh, Brooks Range area, actually down in toward uh, Ambler, looking at a low of about 13 with upper teens and lower 20s along the Arctic coast. 40s for the southeast coast, no change down there really here temperature-wise for the next couple of days with highs in the south, anywhere from uh, 50 to 55 and upper 40s to the north. Lower 40s, south central Alaska again, staying below, uh, above normal here for the highs again for south central Alaska, still into the 40s and lower 30s there for the uh, interior to upper 20s, falling into the uh, teens in the Brooks Range and then back up into the lower to mid 20s for the Arctic coast.